we are going to start off trying to get an expansion base in which yellow is unfortunately pushing that with a bunch of marines and so I won't be able to grab that right away but I'll be waiting for my hero to come out because I went with an economy hero build. Meanwhile, unfortunately during this game we ended up losing our teammate because of a disconnect so we're going to go ahead and see how that plays out and what are we able to do to be able to recover from a situation like that. But for now, these marines continue to push and they're pushing towards our main base but it does look like they don't have the grenade ability. And so with our hero, I'm going to feel comfortable enough to go ahead and get that expansion base. Meanwhile, orange is attacking dark blue's base, orange is decimus, dark blue is decimus, and then red is also attacking light blue's base which is a Vortis, and red is also decimus as well. And so. For now, we have been able to push off Yellow's Marines. We're going to keep an eye on that, but we do have our hero. And Light Blue will be able to clear out what is left of Red. And so this is going to be my cue to see if I can go ahead and get some counter damage coming in on Yellow. But unfortunately, with the amount of Marines that they have and Forge, I'm not going to be able to do so. But we are going to still be able to improve our economy because we feel safe to go ahead and do so. Meanwhile, there's going to be a big attack that is happening on light blue right now. Ice Barrier will come down to prevent the Marines from coming over to help reinforce that position. And so their jump pack brutes will get a little bit of stuns on the Marines that are there. But the cleansing was going down to focus on the engineers and it does look like it took out one or two of them. But yellow is now trying to push my base. We do have our hero light blue is coming in to come in from the side with jump pack brutes. And here they are, they finally got the grenade ability, but those stuns are coming in very well, very nice and staggered by the jump pack brutes. Unfortunately, a scatter bomb is coming down, which is going to do a lot of damage, but we're going to retreat our leader just a little bit because we just want to be able to stay in our node so then they can continue to get the freeze on our side. And now yellow is going to start retreating, and it looks like we want to start going for a counterattack, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do. But we did swallow some mines that were set up by yellow. So for now, we're going to go ahead and retreat, start working up on Siege so we can start applying pressure on that side. Meanwhile, Dark Blue is trying to get an expansion base from the enemy with their Atriox to at least stall on that side of the map. Bases are cheap for them, so they're going to be able to do such things. And with our upgraded Jackrabbits and our hero setup, we're going to be able to be able to continue the Siege of what we're trying to do on the expansion base of Yellow. My light blue continues to try and own the middle of the map and tries to get an expansion themselves. So right now, Siege is working incredibly well right now. We're going to move our hero up in order to go ahead and use our Y move to set up and put some ice and slow things down all around. This is because yellow is attacking mid right now, so they are out of position. But with these nightingales that are showing up, we're going to need some anti-air so wolverine production will go ahead and start and there goes additional kodiaks being set up as well as wolverines coming in as well and red is showing up with red banshees desi banshees showing up actually so we do have cryo bomb want to try and use it but that's not really good value to try and use it right there so for right now the jump pack brutes are doing a magnificent job trying to clear out the enemy over there banshees are kind of distracted Great Cryo is coming down, Seismic Toss comes down as well to put a lot of hurt on those Hornets that are set up. Ice Barrier will be put on Forge in order to try and stall. It does look like our hero will be taken out though, and Red is going to start focusing on our Siege that's in the back. And so now we just gotta find a way to just pull back, get rid of what's there for Yellow, and start trying to focus on Red because Red is on our main base right now. They were able to clear out a Kodiak or two, but for now, let's start getting turrets up in order to be ready for more Banshees showing up. So they're focusing down on the garage, which will give them the ability to go ahead and stop production for me, which will be very unfortunate. Still going to keep making some Kodiaks, but we could have cut off the Banshees if we did it correctly. But for now, they're going to start focusing down on our turrets to get rid of them. And we do have one turret ready to go ahead and fight back and some reavers as well turns out that turret is not even made yet and they're trying to focus down on the second garage which is going to help stall production even more now we have no production we're floating a whole bunch of supply and so we're going to have to focus on trying to get that production back up but we were able to at least get rid of that expansion base coming in from yellow and we have to rebuild our garages but that's still going to give us an opportunity to try and set up for an attack on yellow that would be the next play because of the fact that they are on one base so if we can get yellow down to one base which we have 
the next play is to go ahead and attack and get rid of that second base so we can make it a 2v3 situation and pretty much make this game ours. And so anti-air turrets will be made on the turret so then that way we will be able to go ahead and deal with the Banshees in case they show up. We're going to move our Kodiaks over to start the siege. Our hero is going to be on their way as well. And red Banshees are moving right through mid right now. And they're putting a lot of pressure on light blue. So that Desi air is starting to become more of a problem. And they're starting to transition over to my second base. And here they come attacking my garage which is not really a good point of interest. And that's going to be my cue to go ahead and try and push with what I've got. Because yellow is on middle as well. So they got rid of the garage, which is fine, but we still have one to continue production for. And with the amount of units and Wolverines that we have, they can't really push, which is pretty good. But unfortunately, I sat in a scatter bomb and took a lot of damage from my units. And now Cleansing Beam is coming in as well. And so splits are going to have to try and happen in order to stop the Cleansing Beam from nuking my whole army. But unfortunately, we did lose practically half our army there. We have a severely damaged Nightingale with some Wolverines, which is nice to see. So we're putting a little bit of damage on Yellow's base. We're stripping it too, but it does look like Yellow came in from behind and cleared out our Kodiaks. So our base damage is not really there anymore. We got the Cryo. Siphon is in as well, but Heavy Metal gets called this time around. And so I only did a quarter of the damage, which is going to be our cue to go ahead and fall back for now. We're going to end up losing our main base. We want to try and still do as much damage as we can with the Wolverines. And it does look like we're not in a good position to go ahead and keep this fight up going. But we will keep getting anti-air turrets. And there you have it. Our teammate ends up disconnecting. They ended up probably getting a desync or something like that. And so now it's going to be up to us and my teammate to go ahead and try and make something happening here. But there's a lot of air right now by Desi. And fortunately, it's not mass air, but it's still enough that's a problem. A cleansing beam is coming down on the army as well. We're trying to run, but with reinforcements coming in as from yellow as well, we're going to have to regroup and get ready to go ahead and get a counter push going. Our leader will be lost, and so now we just have to go ahead and start making more units because this is going to be a problem. And so, more units was made. Light blue is coming in with the attack. And remember, we are on the clock because it is a 2 versus 3, so... We need to try and get rid of yellow space. If we can't get rid of it, we're going to be in a very poor spot. But with the air that they're trying to make, we have enough anti-air to go ahead and deal with this. We're stripping the base down. We got plenty of units to keep the damage going. And it's looking very good getting rid of yellow space so far. And it looks like we're going to get very close. A vortex lightning will come down. But with the amount of air that red has shown up here with, it's not enough to go ahead and stop us. So we're going to keep on focusing down on this base to try and make it a 2v2 or at least a 2v.5. But Orange is coming in with a counterattack of their own. And so my leader ability is going to go ahead and use for the drops. So then that way we can go ahead and stall. Ice Barrier will come down as well. And so Vortex Lightning comes in from the Decimus. And now we're just trying to get into the Shield Gen to hold off for as much as possible. We do have Cryo. We do have Seismic Blast. Seismic Blast is coming down with the Cryo to do a lot of damage here. And even if their Desi Hero has just shown up, we were able to hold this position because the turrets are upgraded and they have Fortify. So this is our cue to go ahead for the counterattack and see if we can get rid of the expansion base from red. If we're able to do this, then this is pretty much going to put us in a very, very, very good spot. There's still a bunch of air that's being produced by red, but we have plenty of anti-air to go ahead and deal with this. We're going to continue to micro and blister backs are being made which will be a problem so we want to go ahead and try and focus that down in order to stop that from happening it wasn't put in the shield gen so this is going to be a perfect opportunity to focus down on that blister back and we will be able to get rid of it light blue did swallow a cleansing beam but they're still doing okay in that regards and now we just got to go ahead and focus down on red's expansion base to try and take that out Orange is now trying to reinforce Red and looks like we were able to get rid of that expansion base from Red and now we're attacking their main base. The Voridus Goo is going to go ahead and come down and this is going to be our cue to keep the push going because Cataclysm ends up getting popped as well. We want to focus down on the Blister back if possible. There's a lot of good damage being done here and if we can take out this base this game can come to an end. Cleansing Beam is going down as well. 
And so right now, yellow is still incredibly hindered, can't really help that much, except call in a scatter bomb or any leader abilities here and there. But we're going to keep bringing in reinforcements. Wardis is doing a magnificent job doing the damage. And the combination of vehicle and air that Orange Desi is doing is not going to be enough. Here's that scatter bomb that I'm talking about. But it does look like we are going to be able to push them back a little bit further. The base just needs to be a little worked on a little bit more. But we still have plenty of units to be able to do so. And so now the base ends up getting destroyed. And it's going to end up bringing this game to a close regardless of whether that drop happened or not by Desi. So with that being said, until the next commentary video. And we have...